Got Freak Nation. It's the President T. Electric. And I want to talk to y'all about uh, shit hit the fan, scenarios. Um, in no way, shape, or form am I trying to judge somebody or diss somebody. So don't take it the wrong way. It's just my opinion on how I feel about a shit hit the fan situation. All right? So first and foremost, uh, Glam Slam is not loaded. Ain't nothing in the chamber, YouTube. It ain't nothing in the mag, all right? Now, I purposely started off with this because I want to get some, some understanding straight, all right? We gonna get some uh, ATF fanboys in the, the lead some comments. Oh, T, oh, oh, the ATF gonna get you. They gonna get you. You got a, you got a vertical grip on there. Oh, they, they gonna get you. Oh, my pussy red, my pussy red, my pussy red. <laughs> oh, the ATF gonna get you. They gonna get you. The ATF gonna get you. No. The ATF is not going to get me because if you look at this, it's not a vertical grip. It's called an angle grip made by Strike Industries, okay? Um, it's intended to be held like that. But this particular angle grip is at 86 degrees, all right? Uh, the ATF rules say that you can you you can't have a um, a ninety uh, you cannot have a ninety degree angled vertical vertical grip. That's ninety degrees. See, that's why I love Strike Industries because they got the eighty six degree, which makes it perfectly fine. But I'm pretty sure. I'm still going to get some ATL fanboy. Oh, no, T, they still, they still going to get you. Ooh, my pussy rat. Listen. When did y'all become representatives of the ATF? Y'all the biggest fanboys. Y'all be the ones that's so quick to try to call somebody out and be like, ooh, you in trouble. Ooh, the ATF going to get you. Ooh, you going to get a visit from the ATF. They going to raid your house. Ah, 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 my pussy man. Ah, ah. Y'all need to grow the fuck up and dry your pussies out, you pussy. So my whole thing is this is an 86 degree angle grip and I grip it like that. Okay? So please, please, you know, stop sucking the ATF's dick. Alright? So I want to get that on off the way. And by the way, the ATF already been to my house and they some the two agents that came was cool as fuck. They 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 good people, alright? And they don't they listen man, these people fighting uh, 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 terrorists, god damn it. What is it, the, the, uh, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, or whatever the hell they stand for, man? They don't give a fuck about me. Y'all, get, get over yourselves. You know, dry the pussy out, all right? God damn it. But anyway, uh, I had to get that out the way. Um, Another shit hit the fan. Oh, one more thing I want to get out the way. You know, somebody, you know, some one, some liberal punk pussy uh, 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 bitch, punk pussy bitch left a comment on one of my YouTube shorts saying, matter of fact, let me, let me see if I still got the, uh, I'm going to still see if I got this comment, man. You know, you, you anti-gun liberals, man. Y'all motherfuckers, boy, if we can get rid of y'all funky, stinking asses, the world would be a much better place. Let me see. Uh, okay, here it is right here. Here it is right here. Here's the comment. The comment was made. I don't even get I don't want to get an idiot's name. 
but it say guns are not a showpiece. Bragging or bragging right, nor are they blamed. This mentality is disturbing. You know what? You dumb, stupid, fuck you. Your fucking mentality is disturbing. Listen here. I'm a proud American who legally own every one of my firearms. And I'm proud of them. And I can do whatever the fuck I want to do with them. If I want to show them off, bitch, guess what? I'm going to show them off. You know what? I like to motivate and inspire people to go out and buy a gun so they can protect themselves, so they can defend their families. I ain't one of them coward motherfuckers that got to hide my shit and don't want nobody to know what I got. You stupid, dumb, fuck, asshole, you man. Eat a dick. Matter of fact, you can suck my dick, you dumb, anti-gun Liberal, anti, you son of a bitch, you. You kiss my ass. You don't like my shit, don't watch it. You you don't like it, but you took time out of your day to, to, to leave a comment as if I give a fuck, you dumb fuck. Fuck you. I love me and my fucking guns. Kiss my ass. All right, number, uh, another uh, myth thing is, um, what is it now? I don't got distracted on that asshole. Oh, um... Someone said that you should have a suppressor on your gun so in case them funky ass savages come up in your house, you uh, won't blow your eardrums out. All right. So um, my reply to that is grab you some ear probes. You don't have to pay for an expensive-ass suppressor. Um, you don't have to be raking the whole year. I mean, if that's what you into, if that's what you like, that's what you like. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But I think as far as you saying that that's a, uh, I think that argument is weak. Oh, you need it to save your eardrums. Well, guess what? I would rather be deaf and not be, be able to hear than to be dead in the ground, all right? Uh, uh, people was like, well, you know, you shouldn't have no loud ass AR-15 or or Drake or something like that. Listen, the, 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 the savages that's breaking up in your house, they gonna have an AR-15 or, uh, or, or a Draco. So even if you do have a, a, a suppressor, you only doing a favor for them because you ear, your eardrums gonna get blown. The way I see it, your eardrums gonna get blown out regardless because ninety nine point nine percent when them savages break up in your house, them motherfuckers is not gonna have suppressors on their loud ass uh, uh, guns. They damn self. So get your ear pros. Grab your ear pros. Now you gonna have. Some, I'm a, I know I'm gonna have a smart idiot in the comment. Well, you ain't gonna have time to grab your ear pros. That's why, fool, you keep your ear pros by your by your damn gun. And then have your family. If if the shit hit the fan, cover your fucking ears and get down low. While you while you send these stinking ass savages to your funky town. Okay, send them to funky town. God damn it. Okay, and another um comment that I got. Oh. Uh, the AR-15 is the worst weapon you can have. <laughs> you, you, you're going you're to you're shoot your neighbors up. Listen here, goddammit. I don't know how it is in your hood, in your neck of the woods, but these savages in, here in Detroit, they coming in with AR-15s. They coming in with Dracos. So guess what? If they funky asses got it, then you better believe I want it too. All right? You better believe that I got to have it too. Another thing, the government don't want you to have them, talking about banning them and all that, then you definitely need one. Anytime when the government don't want you to have uh, 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 something, then you need that something. All right? So my thing is, so his his the uh, his comment was, uh, you need to look out and save the neighbors in case 
the savage is coming in. You don't need an AR-15. Even though the AR, even though the savages themselves gonna have AR-15s more than likely, the AK-47. So listen, I don't give a, you know, I hate to sound harsh, but I'm not thinking about my motherfucking neighbors. I'm thinking about saving my life and my family life. And I guarantee you, when them fucking funky ass savages wind up in your house, they not gonna give two fucks about the neighbor either. All right? So my aim will be at the uh 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 at the savages, all right? If a if a stray bullet go happen to go over there to my neighbors, then it's a casualty of war and I'll deal with it afterwards. But I am not if if a funky ass savage just come up in my house, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I, I can't shoot at the savage right there, even though I got a clean shot. I'm not gonna shoot because one of the bullets might, you know, go over to the neighbors. Let me tell you something, goddammit. ARs is loud. Draco's AK 47s is loud. So if you a neighbor and you hear a gun battle happening in your next door neighbor's house, then you need to get your ass down on the ground. Get down, nigga, lay down on the floor and call 911, all right? So if you hear your neighbors getting shot up or shoot off happening in your neighbor's house, oh, well, let me continue to watch my movie and eat my popcorn. You hear that, honey? You hear the shots going off over there? Ain't got nothing to do with us. Let's finish our move. And your ass get shot? Then hell, man, you deserve that shit. God damn it. See, I come from a hood where you can, you know, we got neighbors that really, it's some neighbors, I'm not saying all of them, but literally, they can watch you get gunned down, get shot the fuck up, get your house uh, robbed while you're not there, and they won't pick up the phone to dial 911. They ain't calling shit. We got neighbors like that, that, hey, man, it ain't got shit to do with me. I'm not going to be no snitch. I'm not calling no police. I ain't getting involved. You got neighbors like that. You understand? So... That's the last thing on my mind. And like I say, if the fucking savages got it, then I got to have it too. I want something more powerful than what they funky asses got. I mean, it's just my how I think, my process or whatever. I would never purposely aim in the, in the shit hit the fan. I would never. I would try my best. But when the shit hit the fan, that's exactly what it is. That's the last thing on my mind. My mind is on survival mode and protecting my family and, and, and wanting to uh, live through the uh, ordeal of savages, you know, heavily armed coming into my house. Now, let's talk about the situation that happened over in Russia, the, the Russian terrorist attack, man. You want to hear something crazy, man? I, I recently played the uh the newest call of duty game and one of the missions is i forget the name of it but they it's a big ass stadium that that they that's being attacked by terrorists and the terrorists the, the stadium is on fire and they and they just you know they they gunning down people and it's a video game how ironic that that terror attack that happened in russia is so damn, you know, similar to what happened in, in, in the game. Was these fucking terrorists watching, I mean, playing the game and got the idea from that? I mean, it is like when you look at, they even, they the, 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 the real terror attack, they even set the, um, the stadium on fire, just like they did in the game. That shit is crazy. And I'm pretty sure y'all saw where all of the, um, the migrants, how they broke through the gates and shit, hundreds of them, like, broke through the, 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 the fence down there in Texas and overran the um, police and stuff, man. <clears throat> man, it's only a matter of time. You know, I'm hearing from my sources down in Texas that they're going door to door asking people for help and stuff, man. Ain't nothing wrong with, you know, uh, helping somebody. You know what I'm saying? But I feel that. Eventually, the, the, the savage ones, not all of them, but the ones that are savages, 
instead of them knocking on your door to ask for help, they're going to go kicking in that motherfucker. And for those, like, I'm, what, what, what I'm trying to say, the cities, I think we kind of cool because we know what time it is. We know to be, you know, strapped up and armed. But if you one of them people that got ranches down there and got all those anchors of land and you ain't armed up, you need to get armed. Because I'm telling you, when it come, and I ain't talking about just the migrants, I'm talking about regular savages, American savages, man. I'm telling you, it might not be just five. It might not be just 10. It might be about 30 of them all trying to kick in your door. And if you got 30 savages trying to kick in your door, People always say, well, what do you need an AR-15 for? This is exactly why you need this. Because this is what is going to give you a fighting chance. This right here is going to give you a fighting chance. Because you can get this that whole 30, Funky Town, Seeds, 40. They even got the drum that whole 60. You need something like that, man. We facing some perilous, crazy-ass times that we are currently living in right now. And I don't even want to get into the eclipse that's going to happen, supposedly happen on, 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 on April the 8th. <clears throat> Savage is going to use that opportunity, that distraction to really wreck havoc. Trust me. But anyway, Gun Freak Nation, listen, man. Like I say, I ain't trying to ruffle no feathers, piss no... Yeah, I am trying to piss off a couple of people, them, you fucking anti-gunners. But you you know I love y'all, and it's just my, my opinion on certain, you know, matters and shit, how I would handle the situation, you feel me? Y'all like, y'all like Glam Slam? Y'all like Glam Slam? And I ain't done with Glam Slam yet, and I just got me another lore from um, Palmetto that's gonna go on my AR-57. Anyway, Gun Freak Nation, I love you, baby. Listen, y'all. Y'all stay armed. Stay responsible with your firearms. Stay righteous. And be ready to send that nasty, funky, low-down gutter. You know, uh, 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 low-down, filthy, funky, funky feet, funky foot, funky ass, savage, to fuck it time! We're on a mission, God Freak Nation. We're not letting no savages take us out. You feel me? It ain't going down. And the only way that's going to stop a funky foot savage from coming in and, and, and doing your harm and doing your old lady wrong and violating on every other level. This going to get them off of them real quick. They're going to do the job. You hit get you a glam slam. Thank you, ma'am. I love you, Godfrey. Oh. Yeah, baby. Oh, and by the way, for all you paid members, some beats, free beats, is coming to y'all real soon. I'm, I'm working on it right now. I'm going to identify each and every one of you. I want your email. Y'all got some heat coming y'all way. I love you, Gun Free Nation. Salute, baby. Salute, baby. I love you.